Learning objectives include lichens and their uses. Lichens are combinations of green alga or cyanobacterium, which is also called phycobiont, and a fungus, which is known as mycobiont in this relationship. They have mutualistic relationship, symbiotic, and the partners, if they are separated, they do not grow alone. And these combinations, phycobiont and mycobiont, grow where no other microbes grow. So you would find them like, as you can see here, on the bricks, on the rocks, and very unusual places where there is no other organism are able to grow. As I mentioned, they can grow on bare rocks, tree trunks, and house roofs, and bare soils as well. Typically, they grow very slowly. It has been estimated that their growth rate is one millimeter to three centimeter per year. So you can very well see or imagine that how slow they are in, in their growth. Classified on the basis of the fungus. Fungus is a partner in this relationship. So they are classified on the basis of what fungus is there. The types of lichen includes crustos. They form thin crust on the surfaces of those bricks, those roof, those uh, rocks. And as you can see in these examples, the thin layers, what we call crustose. They can also be found as leaf-like structures, what we call folios. So this is a second type of lichens, folios. They look like leaves, grow on rocks again and bricks, but they look like leaves. And the third type is fruticose. Fruticose, they're finger-like projections. As you can see here, it's, uh, been, this, is, this is the growth on a a, a, a dried tree trunk. Basically, if you look at the structure of these lichens, they are made up of various parts. This part here, which is the middle part, is called medulla. And here, both algus, alga, and as well as the cyanobacterium, this is the, either this is the alga or cyanobacterium, and the fungus. This is the medulla part. And then this one and this one, these are the two layers, what we call cortex. And then from the cortex, roots also emerge or project. And these are, this part is called rhizine. This is the part that is responsible for holding. These are kind of roots. They hold this talus or the body with the surface. Their uses. They are used for dyes, for clothes. They are also used in antiseptic in ancient China, they were used, or they still are used, for uh, antiseptic, as an antiseptic. This litmus paper that we use for checking the pH is also prepared from their compound or substance that is released by them. And some can also, although this is not a use, but they can also cause contact dermatitis. As you can see here, that this person who got in contact with one of these uh, products of the, that are produced by uh, uh, lichens is exhibiting contact dermatitis, which is kind of inflammation. So in summary, lichens are a combination of a fungus and alga or, alga or a cyanobacterium. They both, if you separate them, cannot grow alone and have various uses, as we saw. And some can even cause uh, contact dermatitis or diseases.